in Philly at the Chocolate Area right now, and you are on the Winter Black Dog Tour, correct? That is correct. Okay, so tell me about this tour. This tour, um, well, it's about seven weeks long. Okay. We started in Portland. We're about halfway through and just making our uh, big zigzag circle around the country. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, Three with who's with your Seedless <laughs> band from Orange County. Uh, they're opening the tour. Okay. Um, they're like a reggae rock kind okay. of hybrid. If you haven't checked those guys out, give them a listen. And, uh, stick figure. Um, they're from LA too. I guess the guys from Boston, but they're kind of the bands in LA. Okay. And, um, They've been making a lot of noise recently, so it's a good okay. it's a good package yeah. uh, tour. So very cool. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite place to visit on tour? Um. Well, I have my favorite states. Uh, this time of year, wherever there isn't snow. So yeah, when we get down to like <laughs> when we get back in California or yeah. you know Florida. I mean. <laughs> Texas, I mean, anywhere south. Anywhere south that's south not south. here, basically. Well, then usually, you know, like Denver, anywhere with like natural beauty, places that, you know, have mountains and trees and rivers and oceans and places to go. Do you get to see all that stuff? Before, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, a lot of the times it's just kind of in and out, in and right. out. But, um, we'll get lucky with a day off here or there with, with a cool spot or, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite song to play live? Uh, I like playing all the new songs just because I can get like I get tired of playing like the yeah. same song over and over and, yeah. over and over and over. I don't want to sound like I hate our music because it's not it. It's just like I like playing new stuff and adding to the new stuff. Right. I don't know, it's just more exciting. Yeah. yeah. You haven't, like, played, not played out, but I mean, you yeah. haven't, like, played it over yeah, and over and over again. Exactly. Yeah, I'm so. sure I'll be tired of this old stuff. So. Yeah, no, <laughs> definitely. I'll be, I'll, I'm already tired of some of them, actually. <laughs> uh, who or what are your biggest inspirations in this book? Um, jeez, that's a weighted question. I mean, musically, uh, Bob Marley and, like, Sublime were my two okay. bigger influences. Uh, reasons why I wanted to play like reggae rock style and um, you know, I listened to a lot of punk music uh, when I was younger and a lot of reggae and so that kind of blended together and everyone in the band is kind of in a similar uh, similar way where uh, they've listened to all kinds of different music from jazz, blues to pop, techno, country. Everyone just kind of brings a different element. To the, to the table, so they okay. they all have different musical influences, I have mine, um, as far as like business wise, I mean my, my dad has taught me a lot about business and uh, Slightly Stupid has taught us in our younger days how, how to be a band to tour and like make a career out of it, so that was a pretty big influence to us musically and uh, business wise too. So. Uh, personally, my favorite song by you guys is Well. Okay. I love that song. Uh, what was the inspiration for that song? Um, Jeff wrote that song. It's just a breakup song. <laughs> I, I guess. It's just a breakup song. It's just a breakup guys. song, right? It's all it is. <laughs> I mean, that's what I get from it. I guess <laughs> it's a beautiful song. Yeah, no, it's a cool song. Do you like that song because you're from Philly? Um, I'm from Jersey, actually. Oh, you're from Jersey, okay. But, yeah. but uh, I, no, I just really like the song, I don't know. I just... No, it's a cool song, a lot of people like it. We have, uh, we have G-Love do a little guest vocal yeah. on that song, so that's why I asked. He's from <laughs> yeah, I know, so, that's yeah. not why. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, your last uh, full-length album, Prove It, came out in 2010. Yeah. And then uh, you had Gone Soft, which is your acoustic album in 2012. Yes. Okay, and then do you have plans for a new album anytime soon? Uh, before this tour started, we finished tracking about 18, 19, 20 songs. Oh, wow. And so we're just in the process of getting mixed and mastered. Okay. And once that happens, you know, you just kind of shop at the labels. And so hopefully we can get it out this year. The music is written and recorded. Our, our job Your is job pretty much done. Yeah. So, yeah. So you don't have like a goal release just sometime this year? With we don't have an exact date. I know we're going to freaking kill ourselves if we don't get it out this year, but yeah. uh, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna just slowly release songs okay. until the album comes out. Just the show that we're actually doing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still here, guys. We're yeah, sorry. we're not sitting around. <laughs> okay. We've been we've been work we've been touring a lot, and in between between tours, we've been spending a lot of time at our own studio. So we, we're constantly working. So it's, it's not like we're like taking a hiatus. Right. We're not releasing music or anything. Okay. So. So your fans have something to look forward to? This yeah, year. absolutely. So cool. We're going to have a lot of stuff to release this year. Okay. Uh, so, in my research, I found that you guys have been a band since 1997. Is that true? Yeah, more or less. Um, you know, we're a high school band. Right. Uh, those guys are a year older than me, so when they graduated high school, they're a bass player with the school, and that's when I jumped in my senior oh, okay. year of high school, and that was in like 1999. Okay. So that's when I kind of that's where my chapter starts. <laughs> but yeah, the two years before, they were like freshmen, sophomore, juniors in high school, kind of just like. Well, your fan base is pretty like solid. Like I'm, I mean, that's what I'm finding out. And what do you attribute your success to, to be from? Uh, 1997 or 1999 for you. I mean, honestly, like, we play, you just, you just play everywhere, anywhere, anytime for no money. You just play as much as you can. Right. And it's just, that's, it's so true because that's what we've been doing nonstop since then. Um, also, none of us have like a backup plan, so it's like we don't really have. Like, don't have a backup plan. Yeah, so we don't. Have, we, don't we don't have a choice. Like at this okay. point, not that, not that we like don't want to. It's just saying that we're we're that committed. Was this your original? Like this is what you wanted to do from like day one. You wanted to be a musician, or yeah, that, oh, yeah, really? That's yeah. Awesome. Since like high school, I didn't even. I remember being like, this is a waste of my time because I have bigger, better things to do than this. Yeah. But, I don't know, stuck it out, and then that was well, it. Well, it's paid off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, if you think it's paid off, I think it's paid yeah, off. Yeah, I mean, where you are. Yeah, we've, we've been able to support ourselves financially for the last, like, six, seven years, so that's, like, that's this, awesome. that was, like, one of the biggest goals yeah. since we started, so, yeah. Uh, you guys played Vans Warped Tour in 2011? Correct? Yes. What was that like? That's, that's not really, like, I mean, I'm kind of speaking for you, but I don't really think that that's uh -huh. uh, your typical like festival or tour that you would be on. Like our band? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So what like, was that like to, to do that? Um, it was kind of, you know, it was just one of those things where like, you know, like you said, it's mostly like metal bands right. and we're this reggae rock band. It's like, where do we fit in? You know, it was kind of weird like that. But we, I think we did picked up some fans from it. And That's how I heard about you guys. I think, it, yeah, exactly. Like if we were, you know, obviously like a smaller metal band would probably be more successful, all like on a warp tour, right. just because more people there, like there to see metal, or right. punk or whatever, and so they would like maybe catch on to us more. And there's pro there's probably a lot of people who are like, what the hell is this like reggae crap on a warp tour? Like, what's going on? But. Um, it was special to me in a way because when, you know, growing up listening to bands and stuff, like, I went to, like, the second Warp Tour in the earlier 90s, and that was, you know, I always thought it was so cool, right. and I, like, I always wanted to be a band playing it, and then we got to do that, and it might have, may have taken 13 years, but, <laughs> but we got, got to play it, we got the experience, and I don't know, if, you know, I'm sure we would... I don't know if we would do it again or not, but you know, it was. I'm glad we did it, and it was we had a lot of fun. Okay. So, yeah. So you took a lot away from it then. It yeah, really definitely. Good. Yeah, it's cool to have. It's like a summer camp with a bunch of bands. Yeah. You, know, so it's, you can only really imagine what kind of stuff goes on, but it was fun. We've met a lot of people from other types of bands that we would never met. So you meet band friends from yeah. like other genres and other bands. Yeah, yeah cool. exactly. Like never like be in that situation right, right. to meet uh, you know someone like that unless it was at a warp tour or right. some sort of festival or something like that. Right. And uh, do you have any final thoughts for your band so you just talk to them and talk to me? <laughs> any final thoughts? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously, just like everything else in the world, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And uh, our new album should be coming out this year. We've recorded a lot of.
lot of good stuff and we're really excited about it so check that out come to a show um probably be back on tour uh hopefully to support the album towards the end of the year so take a look at that for that yeah okay yeah <laughs> all right I mean, well thank you very much yeah keep on supporting we appreciate it you're making our lives uh, you know able to do what we want to do so Thank you for that. <laughs> well, thank you for this interview. Uh -huh. And uh, this has been my interview with Ryan from The Expendables.